I obviously have not been making as many videos as I used to. A lot of it is because I just... I've run out of new ways of saying some of the same things. Um, I mean, the same subjects happen over and over again on this platform. But, you know, I've, I've kind of run out of, of different ways of saying those things. So, you know, the main time that I'll make a video is if someone brings up a new way of looking at something. Um, there will be a new news story of some sort. Something like that. But trying to get people to understand that, you know, a small amount of identity politics, everything in moderation, really, you know, a small amount of identity politics isn't bad. A small amount of a number of things isn't bad. But, you know, trying to get people to understand concepts such as privilege instead of automatically just jumping on the defensive and saying well my life hasn't been very good so it's just like no that's not what it's saying it's not saying you haven't went through crap that's not what it's saying everyone has struggles everyone this isn't saying that you haven't went through struggles but there are certain things that you have not went through you have not experienced because of the demographic that you are that other people of other demographics have to go through and have experienced. If you're a straight person and you're watching this, you've never had to deal with someone saying that you're essentially evil for existing because you're gay. You don't experience that. That's not unless someone thought you were gay. But you've never had to experience that kind of thing. You've never had to experience coming out of the closet. Maybe about something else. But, you know, like, you like a certain thing. Oh, you like this group. But some of the things that a black person experiences, you'll never have to experience. You'll never have to experience. And that's what people are referring to. The things that you'll never have to experience because you're a demographic that's in the majority that never has to deal with that. You don't have those problems. You have a t shit ton of other problems just as anyone has a shit ton of other problems. But those problems those specific kinds of problems you don't have to deal with. You know, these declarations about what different demographics go through, it's not saying that everyone of that demographic goes through that. But it's just that... I mean, it's like... But even the difference between men and women. Uh, someone will... But people will still make the argument of, oh, what was she wearing when they hear about someone being raped? Right? Or, well, what's the big deal if, you ha if you're forced to wear makeup and high heels at your job? Well, what's the big deal? Well, if you had to do that, you'd be pretty pissed about it, too. Well, that's not a big deal. You know, that kind of attitude about a lot of stuff. Then, um, you know, someone will complain that uh, there's only one beauty standard being pushed out there, right? Or... It's gotten a lot better over the past few years, thankfully, but, you know, um, someone will complain that there's, there's one kind of beauty standard. I say, well, you know, they're the ones in the majority, so you don't have a, and it's just like, yeah, they, it, it is in the majority, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't make someone feel less because they're never or rarely included. Their demographic is rarely included in something. Yes, it's, it's all about feels, sure. Everything in moderation. You know, we can see what happens when both sides stop caring about the other side's feelings. We can see what happens. That's why we've gotten so polarized. You know? 
get sick of the uh, oh who, oh fuck your feelings. Well, you sure did, some of you sure didn't feel that way when uh, oh god what the hell is her name now? Can't remember her name. The one who roasted uh, Trump and he did the uh, the correspondence dinner. Um, but look how people are getting so hurt over that, and it's just like um, you're some of you are the same ones that try to say fuck your feelings all the time. How does it feel? You know, when it comes from the other side. Um, and the anti-feminists don't give a shit about the feeling of the the fourth wave feminists, and the fourth wave feminists don't give a shit about the uh, the feelings of the anti-feminists. Everything just keeps getting more this way. Are you still going to preach fuck your feelings? Or are we going to start to give a shit? You know, are we going to start to try to consider what other people go through? Because that's that's the that's at the heart of why people talk about privilege. Just try to think a think a little bit about what other people go through. Don't just put this mindset of well, I don't go through this, so it's not really a problem. You know, that's... <sighs> now, there are a number of things that men go through and men experience that women don't experience and don't go through. So there is, there is such a thing as a concept of female privilege. There's male privilege, there's female privilege. They exist. You know, men make up half the population, women make up half the population. So... You know, but talking about that, going into that, well, that's a form of identity politics to, to go into it. It seems kind of strange that you complain when women do it, but then you turn around and do it, and now it's suddenly different. It's weird. When people try to say that historically women have had it easy, easier than men, because look, they don't have to go and do all the things that men do. My response is, well, if you were a slave, if you're black and you were a slave a couple hundred years ago, and you had really, really, really nice slave owners, really, really nice, they, they, they treated you well, would you say that you have it easy and that being enslaved is nothing to complain about? Or... Does the human spirit kind of say, hey, uh, I don't like being imprisoned. I don't like being told that I, I don't have any rights just because I am this demographic. Well, you know, it shouldn't matter if you're enslaved. Uh, if things are well, then, you know, you shouldn't complain. It's just, it, it, you know, and that's kind of the way women used to be. Women kind of used to be property. It doesn't matter if they didn't have to to do the same, what the men had to do. Look what they, look at the mental things that they had to go through. And if you can't, if you can't put any sympathy for that, I don't know what to say. And, that, and that's the part that confuses me. It's it just, it baffles me that some people can't put on other people's shoes. Baffles me, just baffles me. What caused you, it's those that are that way, I'm not saying everyone watching this video obviously is that way, it's just like those of you that are that way, what caused you to be that way? Just what? Now one could say, well, it, it, could, it comes with there being a majority in a country to begin with. It could come from that. And it can't be really fully called apathy. You could call it selective apathy. You know, the more that someone is removed from what you your experiences are, then the more apathetic you are. And that's that's unfortunately a natural thing. But that's also something we should be fighting against. Everyone 
is racist. It, it, everyone. I, I'm not just putting this, every one of this group is racist. No, no. Everyone is racist. Everyone is sexist. We have to fight against those things. We have to use our brains to fight against those things. Those things are unfortunately our natural state. Xenophobic, racist, sexist. Those are our natural states. We have to use our brains to get past that stuff. A lot of the anti-feminists, anti-SJWs, anti-insert some giant thing here, try to push forth that society is what it is because of biology. And I like to argue that we have a civilization and have a society where people don't suffer quite as much because we've used our brains to go beyond what we merely are with our biological tendencies. We need to use our brains.